Ready, set, RC again here today. Today we're here to discuss the Low C 8T. This vehicle we have purchased as a roller. This is the gasoline version or the petrol version, depending on what part of the world you're from, of the Low C 8T. Saw this out there as a roller, decided to pick it up. Always wanted a Low C 8T. This vehicle at the time was having some problems with the gas engines that were installed on them basically staying on. A lot of them were, were stalling out after a while, especially after the break-in period, they were stalling out. So I didn't really want the gasoline version. What I really wanted was a low CAT to just build on and, and uh, basically make it my own. Uh, and this one was at a great price when I saw it. Definitely was interested in the low C8T at the time and just decided to pick it up. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what I've done to this vehicle, what I've put into it. At this time of this video, I've ran probably about six packs in this vehicle, not too much, but I enjoy running it. I mean, it's not something that I go out and I really bash it really hard, but from what I've done with it, it handles it. It handles a lot of that I've, didn't, uh, that I've put out on it. I've done jumps, you know, my normal park runs with it, and it hasn't really run into any issues, none whatsoever. So I just want to take the shell off here, show you guys what's inside, show you what I've so done. I just so want to take off the shell now, guys, and let you guys get an idea of what I've done underneath. So as you can see here, guys, I have my Tekken 8 uh, motor in here. I like how the censored motors run in these vehicles, very little cogging. They run very well. I mean, I don't race, but I like the, how it was operating a lot of videos that I saw out there and I decided that, you know, if I'm going to have a Tekken motor, this was the, this was the vehicle I was going to put it in. So also I have, and I'm just going to bring this up closer so you guys get a better idea. I have my RX-8 Gen 2 ESC in here along with my Tekken 8 motor. I've converted everything over, uh, and that's just by using the conversion, the, the nitro to, to electric conversion that Losi sells, and converted everything over to electric. Just so you guys get a good view of what we got. And the only thing that I did not use, and I'll put this down in the description, the only thing I did not use from this vehicle that was part of the low C kit to convert this over to electric was underneath the center differential. It's a little low for the gas, and I would have to assume that this is probably the same deal with the nitro. It's a little low for the electric and the pinion meshing well. So there is a site, and I, it fails me now when I'm posting this video up, the site, but I will have it listed in the description that sells supports underneath the center differential that props the center differential up and allows you to mesh perfectly with your electric motor. Uh, as I said, this was a gas engine that was in this vehicle. I bought this as a roller, never used, never touched, which was excellent. Uh, there was, there was, it was just a roll, a brand new roll. The person took out the gasoline engine out of it. And I went ahead and put in my electric components into this vehicle. I love this guys, especially since this right now is my only Tekken electric hardware. And I can attest for the money that, the, that, that, that Tekken, uh, products cost. It is worth it. Um, definitely able to do a lot of modifications to this ESC through your computer or through the programming uh, settings that they, that they, uh, that you can buy additionally with this. The servo that I'm using right now is the standard servo that comes with the gas uh, LOSI AT. So I did not swap that out right now. It's working perfectly for it. Maybe in the future, I see that it requires a little bit more boost in it, but right now it's working perfect. I haven't had any issues. The receiver box also comes with the kit that is sealed. 
I mean, it's, it's just a well-built vehicle. I did not change out my shocks. The shocks are exactly the same shocks that comes with the gas, the gas kit. Everything else is the same. Everything else is the same on this vehicle from the gas. I did not change anything over other than the electrical components that have been added and the capabilities of adding a battery tray and everything else. But as I said, the kit from Losi allows you to do this. And it's not a kit that's built specifically for the gas model. It's the same kit that is used from the nitro to electric is the same one that's used from gas to electric. So you guys can go ahead and purchase the gas to electric, uh, the, the same nitro to electric kit and install it in this if you have a gas version that you want to convert over to electric. So in closing guys, I just wanted to show you another one of my RCs out there that I've done a conversion to from the gas engine over to an electric motor. A very nice, very nice uh, kit to build out. Very easy to do uh, and not too expensive in changing it over other than the motor and ESC that you will, you will choose on your own. The conversion kit, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Nothing really hard for anybody to do. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell to get the latest notifications. This is Ready Set RC, signing out.